Oh, welcome back, everybody. We are here with the legendary, my one and only co-pilot for the whole show, <laughs> Marie Osmond. <laughs> now, you give back so much. I want to talk about Children's Miracle Network. Oh. Um, let's just establish that. You, you are coming up on your 40th anniversary. Right. And y how many children have you taken care of and how much money have you raised through Children's Miracle Network? Uh, we now help over 12 million children every year. And um, <laughs> what's different though, as a founder, I wanted to do something different. So we're different in the sense that all the money raised in your local area stays there. 100% of it goes to your local children's hospital, which treat every kind of, you know, accident victim, burn victim, muscle disease, whatever it is, you go to these hospitals to be to treat your child, and they never turn a child away. But we've raised over nine billion dollars. I for mean <laughs> To give back, I mean, that's just so big. It, it goes to your community, your hospital. It will affect your children, your grandchildren. Your neighbors, yes. your neighborhood. Yes. Uh, but just go to cmnhospitals.org and you can find out locally who, who the charities are and just know it all goes to your hospital, all of it. I think family and you have a, a synonymous uh, you know, story, but when your kids left and you became an empty nester, how do you refine yourself? I, I don't know well, who I am <laughs> without my kids. And when I'm alone, I almost feel uh, a, a bit unnerved, like something's wrong or missing. And Well, I, f I think every mother feels that who loves right? their child yeah. at, or children. Um, you know, for me, so I remarried my first husband, love of my life. So my life is full and I'm enjoying spending time with him and I make sure that we always go see all the grandkids. I mean, I thought I'd never love anything as much as my children. Oh my gosh, grandchildren are like having your kids on steroids. I mean, it's just like so cool, I can't tell you. And um, as a parent, you have to guide them. You're not their friend, you're their parent. I couldn't agree more. Right? When you're the grandma, who cares? <laughs> I can do anything I want. <laughs> now, I know that with Nutrisystem, so you started sometime around 50. Was that like, That's right. talk about the 50, like life change? Well, so here's where we have to take a hold of our lives. So I was, I was in a situation that I had to get out of. I had put 50 pounds on. That's a lot of weight on me. I'm not... I'm only 5'5". Five five. I'm very petite. God had to make me that way to make Donnie look macho. And so, <laughs> <laughs> I, so what, was, what was interesting is women don't live long in our family. And so my son came to me on behalf of all my children and said, Mom, you're not going to live long. You've got to lose weight. You've got to not, has nothing to do with what you look like, it has to do with that we need you in our lives. Yes. And so um, I had done everything, you guys. I had such head trips growing up. I'm sure you did too in our business. I mean, ugly stuff. Uh, you know, taking out into parking lots and said the whole show would be canceled, 250 would lose their jobs if I didn't keep food out of my fat face. And at that time, I was 5'5 five, five and 103 pounds. But, uh, you know, I didn't want people to lose their jobs. So I, I got down to like 93 pounds. And uh, I remember actually being at Elizabeth Courtney's, having a fitting there for the show. And I was in putting on my, my pantyhose. I was in my underwear and my bra. And I saw this girl. It, these, the rooms were huge, kind of like this with mirrors everywhere and clothes racks because we wore a lot of clothing. And uh, I saw a girl bending over, putting, you know, and I saw her, her back, you guys, was this skeleton uh, with skin yep. on it. And I thought, oh, my gosh. And I... I got up to look at her and I realized it was me. And it was so scary. Um, and so I still tried to stay thin, but I was always on a diet, always on a diet. I realized that I had body dysmorphia and I fixed that. But um, huh. I just got tired of dieting when I got in my 50s and my body hated me. And you just wanted something lifestyle-friendly, healthy, yeah. normal, doable. Well, I was doing that show, Dancing with the Starved. And so I had to... <laughs> <laughs> and I needed to get the weight off because the 50 pounds in spandex was not going to be pretty. <laughs> and so um, 
I was so scared because I had never eaten so much food in my life. And I realized that we do not need to starve. We do not need to diet. We, and we don't need to be skinny. We need to be healthy. Yeah. But there are things that go on in our bodies. And I had almost given up on me. I really did. I thought, well, I'm just going to be my mom. I'm going to be my grandma. I have done more living since 50 because I'm healthy. We will be right back.